here that lonesome whippoorwill he sounds too blue to cry the midnight train is wide and blue i'm so lonesome i could cry I'm musicologist Jason Eastwood. Thank you for joining me today at the Museum of St. James of Cinnaboya as we embark on a journey through the captivating history and profound impact of one of the most iconic songs in country music history. Hank Williams, I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry. To truly appreciate the significance of this song, we must first understand the man behind it. Hank Williams, Born on September 17, 1923, in Mount Olive, Alabama, was a legendary American singer-songwriter. He left an indelible mark on the country music scene before his untimely death at the age of 29 in 1953. Williams' talent for capturing raw emotions and heartfelt experiences resonated with audiences across the nation. Released in 1949, I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry quickly became one of Hank Williams' most beloved and enduring compositions. The song's melancholic melody and poignant lyrics struck a chord with listeners, expressing the depths of loneliness and sorrow that many could relate to. The impact of this song cannot be understated. I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry remains one of Hank Williams' signature pieces and a cornerstone of country music. Let's delve into the reasons behind its lasting impact. Hank Williams' recording of I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry showcased his exceptional ability to infuse his music with authentic emotion. His heartfelt vocals, accompanied by his trusty guitar, painted a vivid picture of heartbreak and despair. The simplicity of the arrangement allowed the lyrics to take center stage drawing listeners into the profound loneliness conveyed by the song. Beyond Hank Williams' original recording, I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry has been covered by numerous artists across various genres. These renditions serve to introduce the song to new audiences and solidify its status as a timeless classic. Notable covers include those by Elvis Presley, Johnny Cash, B.J. Thomas, and even the rock band Volbeat. The song's impact is evident not only through covers, but also its chart success. I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry reached number four on the Billboard Country Chart in 1949, solidifying Hank Williams' status as a rising star. Its enduring popularity and cultural significance are evident in the countless accolades and honors it has received over the years. Renowned music critic Robert Hilburn once described I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry is one of those rare songs that even people who don't know country music recognize. Its universal appeal has allowed the song to transcend genre boundaries and touch the hearts of listeners from all walks of life. Tragically, Hank Williams' life was cut short, but his music, including I'm So Lonesome, I Could Cry, continues to resonate with people to this day. His contributions to the country music um, industry laid the foundation for countless artists who followed in his footsteps. In conclusion, I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry stands as a testament to the power of music to convey deep emotions and touch the souls of listeners. Hank Williams' hauntingly beautiful composition continues to captivate hearts, reminding us of the enduring legacy of an artist who, though his music has been long gone, the recordings live on and it shares a lonesomeness and a feeling with all listeners all across the world, including here in Canada. 
So thank you for joining me today on this journey through the history and impact of Hank Williams, I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry, brought to you by the Museum of St. James of Santa Boya. We'll see you next time for another installation of Living History in Song. Thank you.